as this the casket of that fallen deputy in Riverside, California, being led out of the hospital. Then we understand that they will be traveling down to Paris to the uh, Riverside County Coroner's Office, about 10 or so miles down the 215 freeway. There will be a, a huge honor guard here, many motorcycles and uh, cruisers that will uh, accompany the body of this fallen Riverside County deputy. Here you see loading of duty. The suspect who gunned down the deputy was also killed following an intense pursuit earlier this afternoon. And we know that a press conference should be happening sometime tonight. We will be bringing that to you live. And the 15 freeway, by the way, we should mention this. We showed you pictures of that earlier in Norco. Uh, shut down while the investigation continues there. That is where that massive law enforcement presence remains as that investigation, as that pursuit ended there on the 15 freeway in Norco, uh, erupting in gunfire and leading to the death of eventually that suspect who was taken to the hospital where that suspect was officially pronounced dead. So now we're taking you back to this scene, live pictures from Sky Fox as we're looking at law enforcement as they pay their respects to their deputy shot and killed in the line of duty within just the last few hours. And it's really been an emotional scene here at the Riverside Community Hospital Earlier in the newscast, we were showing you that there were dozens of officers, deputies that showed up to the hospital where the deputy died and they were embracing and obviously very upset following the news that their fellow deputy was shot and killed in the line of duty. Again, we know that this all happened during a traffic stop. You can see that someone just closed the back of this hearst here where they loaded and put in the deputy following this tragic shooting that happened here in River Riverside County, but again, just a massive showing of support that you're seeing outside of this hospital. It looks like they all gave a salute as well to this deputy. And we are waiting, as Coco mentioned just a few minutes ago, uh, for Riverside County Sheriff to hold a press conference to give us an update on how the department is coping tonight and, of course, the latest on the investigation and explain exactly what they can at this point of what happened this afternoon. To take you back there, it was 2 o'clock when the deceased deputy attempted to make a traffic stop. We're not clear of the want on why that happened in the first place, so hopefully we'll hear more from the sheriff on that. And then that's when, at some point, gunfire was exchanged and the deputy shot and killed. That is when then about 245 that high speed pursuit ensued that ended minutes later on the 15 freeway in Norco where more gunfire rang out and the suspect was shot eventually died at a local hospital. And Sky Fox now showing you a wider angle of this procession that is taking place here outside of the hospital. And as they were zoomed out, you were able to see just the amount of law enforcement that is here at this hospital for this procession. And they're zooming out again, Sky Fox is, to be able to show you this view of what's taking place outside of the hospital following the shooting that happened earlier this afternoon here in Riverside. County, And we should mention, too, that we have reporter Travis Rice headed to this scene. He will be there for us for that press conference that's taking place sometime this evening. We will carry that press conference live for you as well. Again, Sky Fox is continuing to zoom out of this scene. And you can now see as well that there are a number of deputy cruisers outside of the hospital as well with sirens going outside of the hospital. And it's showing you even more amounts of officers and law enforcement that have come here to the hospital to pay their respects to this deputy who was shot and killed in the line of duty. Right now, we do not know the identity of the deputy who was shot and killed. We also do not know the identity of the suspect who was also shot and killed by police following an intense pursuit. But we do expect to learn more information in the press conference that should be happening sometime this evening. Yeah, it's uh, it always is quite the sight. It's so heartbreaking, heart-wrenching to see the turnout of the fellow deputies down below and the lights uh, 
down there flashing really in honor to pay respect to their fallen deputy. And if you saw our coverage as we're now zooming in and we're seeing those, the single file lines now amassing so that they can continue on in this procession. Uh, the, the incredible amount of law enforcement that overtook the 15 freeway in Norco today, it was something else. And that's when that pursuit came to a violent end. So if you have a loved one, a friend who might be late tonight uh, because of the traffic on uh, the 15 freeway in Norco, that is why, because that investigation, there's a, a couple of scenes, of course. One where the initial traffic stop was attempted to be made in the Harupa Valley, and then later on the end of that pursuit uh, on the 15 freeway. And that investigation continues, continues there on the 15 freeway. This is, to remind you, a live look outside of the Riverside Community Hospital, where procession that we were, we just watched that flag draped casket come out of the hospital, be put into that, respectfully put into that hearse, and now uh, the procession will officially begin for the fallen deputy. And as we're taking a look at Sky Fox here, you could see that a number of officers have made their way more so to the street, and that's because that procession is going to be underway very shortly now as we continue watching, and they're zooming out for us, too, to show us a wider angle of what's happening here at the Riverside Community Hospital. Again, if you're just now catching up, this all is starting in Riverside after a deputy died this afternoon. This happened during a traffic stop. You're taking a look at the officers now on motorcycles. They're all lined up to pay their respects to this deputy who was shot and killed in the line of duty. The suspect who gunned down that deputy was also killed following the pursuit. Marla was just talking about that pursuit. It was really a show of support and force for the Riverside deputy who was shot and killed as they were following and pursuing that suspect who gunned down the deputy during that traffic stop. And then the suspect was shot and killed by police following that. But again, really a lot of law enforcement outside here at the hospital to pay their respects to this deputy who was shot and killed. Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco uh, through social media trying to keep uh, media and community members informed to the best that he can while he is trying to gather information about what exactly happened and how to move forward from this, uh, letting everyone know that he will be holding a, a press conference in this evening uh, to, to be determined in exactly what time, but it will be held at the Sheriff's Administration building on Lemon Street in Riverside. Of course, when that happens, as we've been mentioning, we will absolutely bring that live to you so that we can get the latest information. The shooting, by the way, happened, we mentioned at about two o'clock when the attempted traffic stop happened, but the shooting location itself was in the 3900 block of Golden West Avenue in Harupa Valley. So that's scene number one. Scene number two is on the 15 freeway in Norco where that investigation and where plenty of law enforcement remain uh, hours after that shooting took place in the later hours of this afternoon. And talking about those two scenes, it's very important that people do stay away from those areas. I know the Sheriff's Department is asking people to stay away from that area, both areas, as they investigate, because there is a large investigation that has to take place following this deputy shooting that took place on the 15 freeway, but also the traffic stop on Golden West Avenue in Harupa Valley, where this all started. This investigation is going to last well into the evening, throughout the night, and possibly throughout the morning as well, as they try to gather all the pieces of how this all unfolded, this tragic shooting with the deputy. Again, we're still showing you a live look outside of Riverside Community Hospital, where I would say hundreds mm -hmm. of officers at this point and deputies have gathered to show their support for the deputy who was shot and killed in the line of duty. We're now taking another look at the scene here. You can see all the sirens outside of the Riverside Community Hospital. A lot of officers from multiple departments have shown up to this hospital to show their support.
And we know from other tragic deputy shootings, other tragic police shootings, that a lot of times when this happens, you do see multiple departments come out to show their support, show solidarity for the person who was shot and killed in the line of duty.